Hey everyone and welcome back. In the previous video we took a look at the Gratti Italy RSX and the Mammoth Squaddy which is the Ferrari SF90 and the Hummer H1. So in this video we'll be taking a look at the Vapid Slam Truck which is a flatbed tow truck that we are getting in GTA Online guys. I mean oh my god. This is a crazy addition to GTA Online as part of a DLC vehicle guys. I mean I didn't even you know, expect a tow truck to be coming online but this came out of the blue. Yeah, this thing is based off the Ford COE vehicles, that is the cab over engine vehicles and you can clearly make out from the images here. This, this has so much resemblance to these vehicles and also the bottom section you can make out from the old vehicles that is the rapid slam vans, the rat trucks and all. They had the similar kind of up front bumper and those light section area. So yeah, it is kind of a mix of few vehicles and they have actually, you know, strapped on a tow bed on the back. I really don't know how Rockstar is going to be, you know, bringing this to GTA Online because a freaking tow truck is coming to online. Oh my God. And also coming to the back bed, you can see that there's a tow winch that is attached here. I just hope, you know, we can attach vehicles in GTA Online and tow them away because with a price tag of $1.3 million it better be able to do that. That is an insane amount of money for a tow truck, guys. Honestly, this is not like a sports car, supercar, or even a goddamn high-end SUV. This is a freaking tow truck. Well, the one thing that I personally was, you know, not happy about is that this thing is slammed. It is gonna be a pain in the back to drive over bumps or curbs or even drive over in the countryside where we have like, you know, off-roading routes and all. This truck is gonna be getting stuck a lot. I actually showed the video of me getting stuck in the earlier video that I posted yesterday where I showed like all the vehicles that's coming in the DLC as drip feed. So you're gonna be getting stuck a lot. Going to the interiors, well, it's an old school tow truck. So the interiors is pretty much like the old school stuff. So nothing special or crazy with this thing. The acceleration and the handling of it, well, you know, it's just like how you guys would have guessed it it's not the greatest but it has got a decent acceleration you know compared to other trucks in the game you know the tow trucks or even the general trucks yeah it is slightly diff it is slightly you know faster so a thumbs up for that but yeah moving on to the customization aspects going to the first one that is the paint i mean this vehicle comes with dual paint options that is the primary paint and the secondary paint you guys can make out right away I won't be boring with you all the paint options i just you know fast forward it and also another thing is that the primary paint is tied to the interior paint as well as you can see the dashboard and the interior paint is completely tied to the primary paint but the door panels on this thing you can actually paint them as you can see the interior paint changes the only the door panels not the dashboard or the seats so pretty good on that we don't have to you know look at all green on the inside or the primary paint whichever you choose now moving on to the customizations we have the front bumper we have got like few options here so these are you know slightly different version of the same bumpers completely up to the personal preferences which you guys want to be choosing now quickly going about them and i think i'll probably stick to the stock one you know it doesn't matter much so so i'll just stick to the stock one here next we have the mirrors we have like three options here um, the stock one is kind of basic but the chrome vertical mirrors looks a lot much better guys even the chrome round mirrors too the chrome overhang mirrors well these are the tiny ones so it doesn't actually complement the truck instead the vertical mirrors are much better in my opinion so i'll be going with that looks good next we have the exhaust the stock exhaust is mounted on the right side of the vehicle and it's not that good looking but the tall exhaust this oh my god look at that thing it changes the entire look of the vehicle and there's also the angled exhaust and also the heat shield exhaust which is just uh, the angled exhaust with the heat shield around it i'll be getting the tall exhaust this looks freaking insane next we have the grill options well yeah we have got few options here once again it depends entirely on your interests and likings for this build i think i'll be going with the secondary stock grill Next we have the hood options, we have like 4 options here, we have the dart one, we have the arrow hood. Um, okay, so they just kind of add like the chrome details on the hood, that's pretty much it. We also have the Vapid Mark 1, Vapid Mark 2. So these kind of add like the logos on top of the hood, that's 
pretty much it nothing different at all so it doesn't really matter moving on to the visors so these are addition to the top of the cabin so we have got few options here and uh, and i think i'll go with the primary classic visor i kind of like the black accents on the top kind of adds like the dual tone body paint so yeah next we'll also be getting all of the performance upgrades the engine the transmission and the turbo upgrades we also have the libraries okay so we have got quite a few options here we have the rapid motor company so a lot of them are you know the racing companies or these custom companies and uh, the pinstripe actually looks good you know yeah if it was like a darker colored vehicle the white pinstripe would look really good and also like i said the racing companies or the custom companies the bennies los santos yeah like i said guys oh the flames actually also look good the pinstripe and the flames these two really look good on this vehicle guys it really complements the vehicle so for this i think i'll go with the pinstripe or i think i'll go with the flames yeah this looks really good on this the window tents i'll be blacking it out and then we also have the custom wheel options i'm not sure if you'll be having the option to get the custom wheels in gta online but we're not sure as of now we'll have to wait and check it out for this i think i'll be going with the i think the chrome wheels look a lot much better than the blacked out wheels chrome kind of looks better with black paint so i think i'll go with the rock crawler the irony here is that we are getting the rock crawler off-road wheels but this thing can't even go off-road huh i don't know what to say about that that's ridiculous but nonetheless this looks much better for this so i'll be going with this one and also we'll be getting the turbo upgrades for this because you know it really doesn't matter we need all the performance we can get on this thing so yeah there we have it guys those are all the customization and the upgrades with this thing and it does feel a lot quicker than the usual stock one but that's about it you know it still handles the same way as you can see the rear end loses traction a lot the grip on this thing isn't the best thing guys it loses traction a lot and also the turning radius on this thing is absolutely terrible as you can see here i'm not even going very fast it, it still sucks at turning and a quick test of the rear bed here and just a disclaimer up front this might not be the same way in gt online this is probably going to be changed because i don't think rockstar is going to add a tow truck and not put a towing ability for gt online i mean the players are going to be really really mad if they're going to do that and especially the price point of 1.3 million dollars but nonetheless i just wanted to quickly check it out and show it to you guys and uh, i just got the mammoth patriot because the other sports cars or supercars can't climb the tow truck the tow bed guys it collides with the tow bed so there we have it yeah it falls off so technically you know just the vehicle itself we can't actually tow but i think it's going to be changed you know there will be ability to tow vehicles in gt online we are not sure as of now we have got to wait and uh, check it out when it gets released as it is part of the drip feed vehicle uh, yeah good luck waiting on this thing as usual like i said the turning radius isn't the best thing the handling and the turning they are not really that great guys so there you have it guys that is the vapid slam truck and uh, the tow truck that we'll be getting in gta online those are all the customization options that we'll be getting with this vehicle and uh, yeah that's it with this video guys make sure to stay tuned as up next we'll be taking a look at the grotty brioso 300 it is a fun small car so yeah do drop the video like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel guys thank you all and have a good day